Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a 3D logo animation using Adobe After Effects. So, as yes, you know that there are um, three logo animation about 3D in my channel, and that was a little bit fast. So, many of you requested that to make another logo animation, another 3D logo animation, and uh, in normal speed. So, this is the video, and in this video, your wait uh, will be over. So if you are still not subscribed my channel and uh, maybe you new to my channel then please hit the subscribe button to get all of my new videos and must uh, press the bell icon. So let's get started. So first of all open your after effects and go to composition create a new composition and type it to main I'm going to use uh, 15 seconds and 1920 pixel by 1080 pixel and click ok now let's import our logo here and this is the logo I'm going to use you can also download and uh, use this logo from the link in video description now drag this uh, and go to layer and create a new solid or you can also create new solid from here and type it a 3d a 3d for element 3d by the way i'm going to use a plugin called element 3d from video copyright you must have this plugin to make this uh, 3d logo animation so if you don't have then just go to video copyright website and download and install the plugin in your pc then right so now drag the logo here and go to layer then select auto trace and uh, make sure that you check this option then click ok it will create a new layer something like this then turn off this logo and click here and rename it to logo okay now select this a 3d and go to effect go to video couplet and element 3d you can also find this from here effect in present and type element then you will find a plugin then drag this to the e3d then go to this uh, customized layer then custom text and mask select path one and select this logo from here now go to send setup so in sense setup just uh, click on this extrude you will find something like this and change this bevel size to 1.5 bevel x to 1.5 and again click extrude and also change this to 1.5 okay now select this and turn off this go to presets and physical apply this and go to here and turn off the grid you will find something like this click here and you can adjust the glossiness Now click this and turn on this After this, uh, select this and uh, go to the bevel outline and turn on the bevel outline. Then go to here and increase the bevel size, something like this. And before that, you must uh, select this and make this resolution to extreme, also this to extreme. Okay. Now you find something like this. Now 
now click on this create and here create and click here you'll find something like this then I click on this select this plan mode then size XY then make it 100% and also this 100% Okay, now click on this option and rotate it something like this. Okay, now click this and adjust this like me. Okay, select this and this. Increase this uh, to also this to okay. Now select this plane. Okay. Now select this, go to reflection and apply it mirror surface. Now click OK. Now turn off this. Right click and create a new camera. And hit OK. After that, you can change it to third for your work. Then click here. Okay, now create a new adjustment layer and go to effect and preset and search for looks. And if you don't have this look plugin, you have to also download this plugin and install in your PC. Then apply it in this here. Click this, go to locks.
now press ctrl d to duplicate the camera drag it to here press u then remove all of these keyframes from here go here drag this to the this point again create keyframes go to here and drag this to this position and make it little bit viewer again duplicate this camera by control D turn off this press U to open all of this keyframe drag this to here to here and create keyframes back to this here select orientation okay now close all of this now let's see the preview
so this is the animation we'll create in after effect and using the element 3d plugin and logs plugin so hope you like this video if you like this video then please make sure that you subscribe my channel and give a thumbs up to this video and don't forget to share this video with your friends so i will be back soon with another new video and new tutorials soon till then take care goodbye